Okay, so this is gonna be a trade recap on Tesla from November 5th, where I took two quick scalp trades and made $1,232 on the day. And just wanna let everybody know, I'm not cherry picking my winners. This market has been hot the last week and a half, so it's provided a lot of good setups and been really good to trade. And a question that I got that I think would be good to answer right now is how do you identify when the market is hot? For me, it's pretty simple. It's when the indexes, the tech names, and the Momo names reclaim the nine EMA and the 20 SMA on the daily, because when they can reclaim that, a lot of times it has the possibility to start some moves higher. So if you look at the SPY, had a pretty big pullback because of the uncertainty of the election, and then all of a sudden, right here, this day changed everything. I'm sure there were a lot of people positioned to the short side. And then the moment it took out a lot of that price action, reclaimed the nine, reclaimed the 20, all of a sudden had big moves up in the market. Same with the Qs. Just looking at all the daily charts, didn't look really good. Reclaimed the nine, reclaimed the 20, and we've had some insane moves higher. Now, I definitely think the market is extended, but at least over the past week, it's, there's been some serious momentum. So when I go through the group of names that I like to look at and they all look similar to this, it lets me know that the market has caught a little bit of momentum and breaks of high a day or pre-market high and flag patterns have a better probability of follow through. And that means that I got to take full advantage of when the setups are there. So now knowing that, let's get back to Tesla. My process is the exact same every single day. I really like trading Tesla a lot and it's about just finding some very key technical levels, not overthinking it, just some of the basics. So when looking at the daily chart, look at Tesla, it's nice and tight. It's right near the nine, it's right near the 20, and it's near the 50. So it's close to all those moving averages. So now I just think, what are some levels that I could possibly trade around? I'm a big fan of pre-market high and prior day's highs. So the prior day high was 435.40, and if you look on the right, the pre-market high was 434.50. So there were two key technical levels to trade around. And now it's just about waiting for it to open and have some sort of setup, looking for an opening range break or some sort of flag pattern and would love to see Tesla trading above the indicators that I use, which is the 9 EMA, the 20 SMA and VWAP. So now just getting into the trade, look at what Tesla has done off the open, had a little bit of a dip, failed to break pre-market lows, and has since reclaimed VWAP. What is it that I've always said I like? I like when Tesla looks like it's gonna sell off, stops on a dime, and then reclaims VWAP. So now it had a very strong push, showed that buyers are clearly in control, and it is now putting in a flag pattern above VWAP, above the nine, and above the 20. So right around that 430.81, I'm looking to go long. And now I'm just waiting for it to get to the high of day. If it gets there, I think it has no choice but to go higher and also knowing that there is two technical levels above. So I have the 430 calls loaded and I'm just waiting right there. Get long right at 430.80 and look at the tape instantly speed up. So nice follow through. And now I just wanna see this continue. Nice high day break coming into the whole number. How does it respond when it gets the whole numbers? But just looking at the tape, but I just wanna see if there's any size at any spots and if it can get through it or if it has trouble getting through it coming into 432, whole number. And then when this starts to speed up, that's my sign to take those profits. So I'm trying to hold out for a 432 break. And right through 432 with some speed, tape really starting to speed up. 432.30s, kind of starting to slow down a little bit, right into 432.50, had some trouble getting through it and it pulls back, so I just got out of the trade. So taking that quick move, the nice flag pattern, breaks the flag, get that quick rip, and then just take it. So this is the setup on the second trade. Yes, I missed a lot more on the first trade, but Tesla is still in play. Clearly buyers are in control and look at prior day's high. It is yet to break prior day's high at 435.40. So I think if it can break that, this still has room to go. And this is trading just above the nine, just above the 20, above VWAP, but not too extended, forming a flag pattern right around that 434, also knowing that prior day's high is above. Now this is a funny trade because if you look at my order entry, I have 10 contracts loaded. So I happened to make a mistake and luckily that mistake made me money. Sometimes in trading you get lucky and I got lucky today. I forgot to change the size down to five. So I have 10 435 call contracts loaded 
And if this can get through right around 434, it should break high a day and catch more momentum and I'll take it for a quick move. So I had absolutely no idea that when I clicked the buy button, I was gonna be in 10 contracts. I genuinely believe that I was gonna be in five and it wasn't until I closed the position and saw that I still had p &L moving that I realized it and just closed it pretty quick. So lucky enough, this was a mistake and I came out all right. But right now, that's a flag pattern above the moving averages, above view app, like I always talk about, same process. And if it takes out that flag high, I think prior day's high is in play. And especially in the current market condition, when high day breaks on momentum names, they usually get going. And that looks pretty good, nice and tight right on the nine. And I get long right there. So 10 contracts at 670. And I wanna hold out for the high day break when it starts to speed up start to think about taking profits. And I wanna see this get through 435, can get through that whole number. I think it has no choice but to go higher and especially with the market right now being so strong. So 434, 70s, 80s, 90s, through 435, there was a, a decent amount of size there, saw that, and it just paused at 435, get through 435, this should rip. Seeing all that size on the offer and now it's gone. So tested it, right through it. 435.20s, 50s, Tate really starting to speed up. So that's how I know buyers are in control and I'm now in the driver's seat. So there's no reason to let this trade go red at this point. And as the tape really starts to speed up here, I mean, that just ticked a point really fast. I'm gonna start thinking about getting out of this trade. And as you can see on the order entry, I have five loaded because I thought I only got into five. And as it starts to slow down, this is where I'm gonna consider getting out of the trade because I got a nice move pretty quick and I'm a scalper, so I like to just take those fast moves. And I just get out of the trade right there because it was slowing down. And then this is where I realized, I'm like, what is going on? Oh, I still have five left. And I quickly just close that. So funny mistake, but I ended up making money on that mistake and then that was it. I had two nice winners and I called it a day. I always try to listen to those rules. If I can take a trade quick off the open, you know, right around that sweet spot, one to three, and I'm nicely green on the day, even if I see good setups or I want to continue to trade, I just have the discipline to walk because my stats continue to tell me the more I trade, the more trouble I can get into. And I don't want to give anything back when I can put up a nice green day like that. So overall, pretty happy with the two quick trades. So that was the trade recap on Tesla and how I made $1,232 in just under three minutes. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you later.